Oh my god, there he is, there he is. No way. No way. Oh my god, here he comes, guys. We got our Diamond Potential Drake Mallard Duck coming in. We're just about to the spot that I wanted to get to today, but then we saw this guy here. That's a beautiful white tail, and we are definitely not going to be passing him up. Although, at this point, we are not going to have a shot either, so... Uh, yeah, there's always that. Oh, hold up, hold up. He's coming this way, he's coming this way. About 250 out there. And perfect heart shot. He's down. There's actually another somewhat of a decent buck in here as well that I wouldn't mind getting. Ooh, thought I smoked? Yeah, definitely smoked him. I was going to say that shot looked pretty good. But I'm really looking forward to trying out this spot. I was watching KG's live stream and, well, I saw some pretty cool fields that he was hunting. One of the fields was actually a pumpkin patch field. And I thought, no way, deer absolutely love pumpkins. So why don't we go try it out and head over there today? All right, here's this buck down right here, the second buck. Ooh, got him a little far back, I see. Still did catch liver, but just barely. And we were actually holding a pretty good lead on him as well. I guess not quite enough considering how fast he was going. But this one over here, we definitely got a heart shot. All right, let's take a look at this one right here. It's going to be a 212 perfect double lung and heart shot at 200 yards. Another really dark colored fur as well. I smell pumpkins. Look at right in front of us here. We got a whole pumpkin patch. But not only that, we jumped up a coyote out here as well at about 250. Now we got the AR-308 and we're definitely going to be using that for a nice shot on this yote. But we still need a decent angle. He is actually right in that pumpkin patch. Ah, oh, we pulled right. Whew, did not pull right that time. He's definitely hit. He's hit again. Oh, would have hit him three times, but he's definitely hit twice. So there we go. A first animal down in the pumpkin patch. I'm honestly looking forward to hunting some whitetail out here. We'll have to come out here a little bit later on in the day and get some tree stands set up and who knows, maybe they'll come in and want to eat some pumpkins. Look at the size of this massive pumpkin field here. I really want to get a good picture of that. That's pretty good just like that. All right, let's grab our yoke. Ooh, so he was a little far out. First shot would have been money, but I didn't know he was 270. Second shot dropped low and hit far back, but a dark gray. And you know what else I realized? That we can actually hunt raccoon with a 10 millimeter pistol and get full score. How's that for finding a white tail in the pumpkin patch? We got a rare piebald white tailed doe going right through there. There's another doe there and there's quite a few deer over there. Actually, what we're probably going to do is set up the tripod here and wait for them to come back. There actually might be a buck in there as well. In fact, there's definitely one right there. So let's in fact do that. Let's get our tripod set up over here. All right, here we go. We're set up on the pumpkin patch field. Now we're going to wait and hope that these deer come in to feed on these pumpkins. If so, it could be our first white tailed deer on a pumpkin patch. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds funny, but it kind of does. And it's also going to be pretty cool. Yeah, well, we couldn't exactly find that rare white-tailed doe, but we went on looking and found a whole massive herd of white-tails here. Holy, look at all the white-tails in this pumpkin patch. We are getting a call from a white-tail pretty close by right down here. So, oh, right there. Oh, 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 oh. That actually might be our rare. Hold up, hold up. That could potentially be are rare and what I want to do is put up a tripod here so that way we can get in quick and get a shot off potentially if she is there oh well I guess she's not there but all these white tail are coming in from over here and there's a big old white tail buck right there 220 yards out look at all these white tail coming in we should be able to find that rare after this. 
But this is pretty cool. Unfortunately, they're not exactly going to be in the pumpkin patch. I mean, they came from the pumpkin patch, but right now they're not in the pumpkin patch. Although that really doesn't matter too much to me. Um. Well, we should probably take the shot soon. It's going to be about 150 yards out. You know what? I got an idea. I don't know why, but I really want them to be in the pumpkin patch. So what if we just kick them up and they go back into the pumpkin patch? Right? What if we just do that? Then we can set up our tripod here and they'll go back to the pumpkin patch. There they go. I mean, eventually they got to come back this way anyways, right? So at least now we'll technically be able to say that we got one in the pumpkin patch. All right, guys, it looks like the whitetail are coming back in right now and they're going to be right on the edge of this pumpkin patch. In fact, they're going to come right between both pumpkin patches. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Got a nice little funnel right between us and these pumpkin patches here, as well as the deer. And they should want to work their way right down through here and get a drink of water. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. All right, so let's see if we can't find the big buck. That might be him right there. I still can't tell. That is definitely not our big buck. Another buck there. A couple does. And a small buck. Is that even the same herd of whitetail or do we have another herd somewhere? Because I am not seeing the big buck anywhere. Maybe he's still coming in the back here. Where is he? That's not him either. Oh, there he is. We got eyes on him. There he is right there. 87 yards out. Oh, I got an idea. Actually, I want to try something once. Well, I don't necessarily want to take a trotting shot. But what I did want to do... Woo! Got him in the pumpkin patch! <laughs> That's what we wanted right there. He's down right on the edge of the pumpkin patch. What I was trying to do is test out the spook radius because supposedly the spook distance is different than it used to be. And we were actually figuring that out yesterday when we were taking 70 yard shots with a bow and some of the deer weren't even spooking. Whew. I think we just smoked that deer right there. I don't even know what it was, but. But this is gonna be our first big white tail buck down in the pumpkin patch. <laughs> so it's gonna be a pretty cool picture. Oh, look at that. Man, that's gonna be awesome. Wow. I like that a lot. Especially like that. You can still see pumpkins in the back. Pumpkins all around. There we go. The pump, the pumpkin patch white tail buck. We're going to call him the pumpkin patch. We're going to call him the pumpkin patch white tail buck. And let's pick him up. All right. It's going to be a 225 gold. Made a nice double lung shot at 60 yards away. Wow, I didn't realize he was that close. Honestly, we probably could have taken him with the bow. But he came in pretty quick and we got him. Now that is a pretty sight. We just got to this massive mountain here, which is overlooking this huge valley and all these fields. So I thought we'd check it out. And if you look right there, we actually got a black bear out there at about 300 yards and we have the 300 mag which we just customized not too long ago and actually i'll show you what it looks like here take a look at that pretty cool huh so we use like the i don't know what you call it camouflage and then we use like a gray blue color on top of it so i think it looks pretty cool anyways there's our bear right there at 300 now we're actually pretty high up so we really shouldn't have to hold too high. In fact, I'm going to hold right for the center of the lung. 
And we absolutely smoked that bear. Wow. She didn't go 10 feet and tipped over. Oh, what do we got right here? A moose. Bull moose. Holy, we got ducks flying all around us here. And that is a dime potential. Oh my God. Dime potential mallard duck. I have nothing to take it down with. Nothing at all. You know what the worst part is? Those ducks flew right over the top of these trees here. Like, if we had anything ethical to take the shot, I mean, yeah, we do have the bow, but let's be real. We're not taking a duck flying out of the air with a bow. At least not that high. All right, guys, so I actually got this really good idea, and we decided to set up a whole two dozen decoys, as well as a tripod stand, out in the middle of that one field. And I thought, you know what? This just might work. But guess what? As we set the last decoy up, a whole flock of mallards landed right on top of us. So I got a pretty good feeling that this just might work. All right, guys, here we go. Now, basically what we have set up is we have a tripod overlooking this field and we have two dozen decoys right there. We want to be at least 30 yards away from our decoys. That way the ducks end up landing closer to the decoys. But here we go. Oh, we got ducks coming in, ducks coming in, up high, up high. I don't know if... Oh, those might be mallard. Holy, we got a bunch of ducks coming in. Oh my god, how in the heck are we supposed to find our dime potential mallard in all these... Those are golden eyes, first off. And those are mallards. Those are mallards. Alright, we gotta find our giant duck here. He's in here somewhere. Those are mallards, mallards. What are these now? More mallards. Oh my God, there's a massive flock of ducks here. There's absolutely no way we're gonna be able to figure out which one our diamond duck is. Look at them all. Holy. I'm looking hard, I'm looking hard, I'm not seeing them, I'm not seeing them. We got ducks down on the ground, we got ducks down on the ground. We got more ducks incoming. Oh my god, they're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. Oh, look at this. Landing right in the decoys. Perfect. I just don't think that our diamond duck is here yet. There's a, looks like two piebalds there. A nice size piebald. Big two. Another good two. So yeah, there must be another flock coming in here somewhere, guys. Oh my God, there he is, there he is. No way, no way. Oh my god, here he comes, guys. We got our dime potential Drake Mallard duck coming in. So he's in the flock going to the right here. I'm not exactly sure which duck he is, but we'll let him swing a couple of times. Well, there he is right there. He's the second to the back. Well, that duck right there. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on, circle, circle, circle. Here he comes, here he comes. He circles a little bit closer. We're gonna have a shot. Oh my God, here we go, here we go. Got him, yes! Woo! Diamond duck. First diamond duck on New England mountains out of the tripod stand. I can't tell if there's like golden eye circle in us as well. Oh, over there, look at this. Yeah, we got golden eye coming in as well. Wow. Look at this. All right, let's see if we can't wait to, oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, that should have been perfect. Holy, they take off fast. And I mean fast. 
because we've spent so much time trying to get this duck. Not only did we try and get him at first from up on top of that mountain, then we came down here, set up decoys three times, and that duck never showed himself. Tons of ducks came in, yeah, but this one never did, in fact, show himself. All right, here is a hen mallard duck. That's the one that we just got 40 yards out. But then this right here is our first diamondential mallard duck on New England. And it's going to be a diamond. 46 yards out, a 20.74. Beautiful black brown diamond Drake mallard duck. And take a look at that new model as well. Man, is that absolutely fantastic. Look at the dark shades of green on the head there you got like the really dark the bright bright then you have the ring man that looks absolutely incredible look at this duck look at what they did to the mallard ducks got the huge triple curl wow i mean that is unbelievably cool so realistic look at that thing i I can't even believe how good this duck looks. Like, I cannot even believe. So, yeah, we are definitely getting it mounted. Called him right in to an open field and took him down with a 12 gauge shotgun. Well, that was awesome. All right, here we go. Now we got some mallards coming in. Here we go. Come on, just circle, come in, and give us a decent shot. Another flock. Another flock. How far out are those things? Ooh, 100 yards out. Yeah, they're pretty far out there. Circling, circling. See, the decoys are right here. So they should land right there. But they're going to land everywhere but the decoys, of course. Oh, look at these ducks coming in. Oh, my God. There's no way I didn't hit that duck. Got him. Woo. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. You got to lead them. But holy. Now we got mallards and green wing teal circling us. You know, if we put some green wind, you know what? I should probably put some decoys out here. If we put green wing teal decoys and everything else out here, like we could have tons of ducks landing out here. Right now we're just getting mallards, but. All right, come on. Perfect. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Smoke that one, I'll tell you that. Wow. All right, so the key is to try and find the ducks that are about to cup up and land before they actually do. Which, holy, those things are super, super high. And they're landing way out there. Oh, these aren't, though. Oh, perfect. Yes, got him. Oh, doubled up. Yes. Oh, finally getting the hang of this. Man, if you guys were here this morning, <laughs> you would be laughing your butts off right now. I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. I was going to say, what if we just like tuck in here and kind of use the brush for cover? What if we do that? Would it make much difference? Oh, that's a big flock of ducks. Okay, so those mallards definitely know we're here. But they still might come in. Where'd they go? 
Oh, here they come. Oh. Much better. Much better. So I'm going to take out this one in the back. Oh, that was epic. That was so perfect. Dude, that was so perfect. Oh, I'm surprised I couldn't get that duck as well. But we timed it absolutely perfectly. So it does seem like it's working a lot better not being in a blind. A lot better. Took her as she was cupped up, coming in perfectly. And it's saying only one BB, but we definitely hit that thing like probably 20 times. Again, a beautiful looking duck. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Man, that's incredible. And that's a female. That's a hen. A hen male or duck looks absolutely unbelievable. And next time I actually want to get even a little bit closer. Because then they might land right on top of us. Is this duck coming in or what is it doing? Holy, that thing came in super fast. And so did that one. All right, one more duck circling here. When this duck comes in, that should be it. Here we go. Oh, tried for it. Got it. Oh, it cut back. Oh my God, we got it. Yes. Woo. Cut back on me, but we definitely got it. On the very last shot. That was awesome. Alright, so next time I want to try and get a little bit closer. Like maybe right here. Alright, let's see what happens. They're getting pretty low. And they're cupping up. Oh, yep. Drake is out in the front. There's the hen. Oh. Nice. Don't know how the heck we'd be able to take that shot, but... Whoa! Couldn't pass that one up. Got him! Drake is down. There we go, guys. All right, so that's kind of difficult because... I don't know, kind of because of like the lighting. But I'm thinking maybe if we go to this side, we might be better, better off. Let's try it. There we go, another lone Drake Mallard coming in up high. That's absolutely perfect. Oh, bunch of ducks coming in. Where'd those come from? Oh, they're all mallards. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. This is awesome. About 15 mallards circling us right now. All right. Remember, no more calling. Now we wait. Is that duck coming in? Uh, I can't tell. They're still circling pretty far. Oh, hold up. They're cupping up. They're cupping up. Oh my God. That's a hen. That's another hen. Where's the Drake? Dude, we could have dusted those hens. I'm waiting for the Drake though. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Oh my God. Got it. Got it again. Oh, I'm empty. Well, we got three. I couldn't find the Drake, so they were so hard to find. I don't even know if we actually did get a Drake, to be honest. I was looking hard. See, there's a hen. Another hen. 
We definitely called plenty enough. So now, oh, I'm getting dizzy spinning in circles here watching this duck coming in. Oh my god. Is he going to come in or what? That's him there on the left. That one right there. Come on. Come on, duck. Oh, these ducks are all coming in. That one's cupping up. We're watching our Drake. Oh my god, here he comes. He's cupping up. Yes! What a perfect shot! Oh my god, that was awesome! I don't know if we're going to be able to get this one or not. No, oh my God, we got it. No. <gasps> oh, what a shot. Man, we're putting crazy leads on these ducks. But we're getting them. We're finally getting them. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're wondering why it's dark out right now behind me, it's because I spent almost three and a half hours to try and get that Diamond Drake Mallard duck down. Finally we did it, and it was one heck of an amazing accomplishment. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the amazing support. And we'll see you guys next time. Here's where all the Drakes are, huh? There we go. Black, brown, gold, 44 yards out. I think that's the one that we just shot right now. Yep, that should be him. Another Drake right there. Another gold, 59 yards out. Right to the back of the neck. Another Drake, 15.5, 50 yards out on the fly. I think that's the one that we hit absolutely perfectly right there.